high earth sign. This is Maggie from Magnificent Tarot. I'm back with another reading. Earth signs. Capricorn Taurus. Capricorn Taurus. Virgo. King of Wands just flew out. <laughs> That's crazy. Three card spread. Today's June. What's the day? Oh my God. Let me check my phone. Uh, June the, Friday, June the 8th, 2018. Don't mind me. I'm super tired. Has, I have not slept in 24 hours. More than 24 hours. Okay. Two more cards. Yep, yeah, this is for um, Earth Sign, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury. Um, Jupiter, North Node, Lego. So, we just need one more card to get started. It's, oh, wow. Okay. Hmm. hmm. Okay, so let me move this over so I can be in frame because I already know y'all can't see. Got my little Himalayan pink salt there illuminating my cards for me. All right, so I already see here someone was in the past position, was embodying the King of Wands energy here, taking action. Very energetic here. But then, um, I just wonder about this little tiny lizard here. What is that about? What is this lizard? I need to um, <laughs> look that up. I just, it just threw me off. I'm just like, why is this little lizard right here? <laughs> but anyways, um, the king of one, yeah, he takes action. I mean, you embody this energy and you guys needed it, you know. Him wiser. It's a strong person. Wise, stable, intelligent here, but in the presence position, you have the three of hearts in reverse, which is also good because that indicates that there was a period of where you were going through some type of emotional turmoil, but now that it's in the reverse position, you know, some type of depression, separation, sadness, heartache, sorrow, you know, all the, the bad feelings that is associated with this card, the, the energy of this card here. Um, in the reverse position, I want to say it kind of means, hey, you know, <clears throat> there's a transition. It's there's some difficulties. There's some loss, some confusion. There's still a little bit of sadness, but I feel like it's not at the same degree. It's not as severe. I feel like this is like telling you to think before you speak too, because I see a lot of times when I see this, it. There's like pettiness going on. Whenever I see this in reverse like this, it's pettiness happening in the situation and saying, think before you speak. Don't get into petty arguments here. In the future position, we have uh, the charitable card, the generosity, the equal give and take card is in the reverse position here. Someone's feeling like there's no balance in a relationship. They're feeling like, you know, someone's taking advantage. Maybe in the situation. Or this is the, the future energy. This is what they're thinking here. In the future position because it's, it's balance. It's fairness. But in the reverse position, you know, in the verse, in the reverse, 
I am super tired. I apologize. It's like dissatisfaction, jealousy, some type of envy. There's no balance. Inadequacy. Hmm. This became very negative. Let's see what's this about. What is this about? Other signs. Or cross watcher. What's going on? Somebody. Amen. I could dig it. I put that right under the three of hearts in reverse. Because this is someone that was healing from this energy. It's not as severe, but they're still going through it. They're still thinking about it. Got them thinking like they can't really. Got them in thinking. I mean, this is in the future position. And I feel like they're thinking, looking to the future in a negative way here. Thinking that, okay, whoever they're with here is going to, whoever put them in this state here, because they were. And sometimes, like I said, when I look at the spread, depending on the cards I see, I feel like that. The negative aspects of the king is being revealed to me now. Instead of the positive attributes. I feel like the negative aspects of the king is being revealed for me a little bit. Negativities. Negative thinking. Now you went into a state of... It's like the hermit. But you're kind of like... Going in, going thin, going through a state of really just not doing anything, kind of. In this particular situation, you're kind of taking a step back, looking at everything from a different perspective, but you're really not doing anything. You're not taking any action here is what I'm getting intuitively here. The hangman. We know in the tarot is about suspension, isolation, spiritual independence, higher wisdom. But it's about letting go. The reason I say you're not really taking any action, I feel like you're more reflecting. Six of Pentacles and where I left off, I was talking about the hangman and I said that he... I didn't think that he was actually letting go. I feel like he was in a state of reflection still. And not actually or thinking about letting go. But having made the ch choice to let go yet. Is what I feel here. That's what I was saying before. The, the camera keeps playing with me today. <laughs> That's why I didn't get any sleep. I've been recording stuff. Having to delete stuff. And losing stuff. And thinking I'm recording. But anyways... So basically, I was saying that he's in a state of reflection here in this particular energy or for this particular reading, because I don't feel like he's ready to move on because he's in a process because this is the less severe form of this energy here, the five of, I'm um, sorry, the three of hearts in reverse, less severe still there it's still there right and you know basically this card would represent self-reflection here being observant calm discernment crossroads decisions that's why i said he's thinking about this decision <clears throat> Here. Then I clarified the Six of Pentacles in reverse and I got the Five of Swords. Which I'm not even surprised about. Um, the Five of Swords in reverse here. Because it talks about healing. 
in the upright, but it's in the reverse. And it makes sense that it's in the reverse next to the um, hangman card because I feel like it invokes change, major changes, weakness, weakness, unresolved quarrels, conflict, Uh, I feel like inner conflict to defeat, feeling defeat, feeling disdain, loss, frustration, bitterness, devastation here. So I said, okay, because I was talking about how I was looking at the King of Wands here. And then I said, you know what, this could be the cross watcher watch you know that embody that energy started to say hey you know I, I i deserve better maybe you started to pull back but it kind of feels like it's the current you guys earth signs taurus capricorn virgo i said that all out of order but it doesn't matter no i didn't actually taurus yeah that's right taurus capricorn virgo um, I feel like somebody embodied the King of Wands energy. The wands represent action. Um, this king, to me, I feel like he is a positive hard to have. He gets guidance. He's happy. He's wise. He's in, he enjoys life. But then at the same time, he's impulsive. Very sure of himself. A little arrogant. That's why I said the negative aspects is, cause, is really screaming out to me here. Ego. Somebody's ego. Somebody had a big ego. I just thought about the song, um, Beyonce's song. He got a big ego. Such a big ego. But I love this big ego. So the person is dealing with someone's ego here. Yeah. This person. Whoever this is embodying this energy is causing the querent or the cross watcher to be in this state. But because they're going into reflection and they're going into a meditative meditative state, and because they're being observant, it's not as severe here. And that's why we have this card here. No equal give and take right now. We have that card there in the future position. For me, I feel like, okay, in the reverse, and because it's in the future position, it implies, I mean, this is my interpretation intuitively it implies that there's going to still be dissatisfaction. That's why I said this person is contemplating, thinking about the separation here. But they are this here. They don't want, they, they, don't, they don't really want to go. They still like this person. So then I clarified the King of Wands here, you know, because I'm like, okay, well, who is the Squid of Wands? I'm sorry, King of Wands. I got these three cards, the Hierophant. Seven of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. All in the upright position here. When I asked to clarify the uh, Wands, it, they flew out at all at the same time. One on top of the, uh, the other. So... Okay, so I thought, mm, that's a little, I mean, I get 
the higher fan. I feel like he they 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 sought out counsel. They they somebody gave him advice here. Maybe someone was telling them to stay with this particular person that's causing them to be in this energy here. Somebody older, somebody wiser, telling them, hey, you know, try to work it out, maybe. Or that's their, this could be their intuition here. This could represent a commitment. This is someone that they're in a commitment with or someone that they're married to. You guys could be married. This is a three. This person you're with could be married. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see what else, what other cards I pull out. This is Taurus. Yeah, I think the Hierophant card is a spiritual card when I see it. But it, to me, it also means you're getting sound counsel from an older person. It allows to see clearly Clearly the, to get to the steps that you, or get to where you want to be. Just basically helping you to decide what you want to do, basically. Maybe you're going through some spiritual training. Maybe you're becoming some type of spiritual teacher or, or, or advisor. Maybe that's why you went into the hangman mode here. But you know eventually you're going to have to let certain things go. Things that no longer serve you. Here, the Seven of Pentacles. Here, look how he, he's looking. He is so extra. His his body proportion always bothered me. I don't know. Maybe I'm being extra. Just his legs look a little torso looks so long. But anyways, that's besides the point. I don't, I don't know why that I brought that up, but it just was bothering me. Like, why he look like that? Like, anyways, but. It, I, Look at how he looks. Regret what I was saying. Um, somebody could be going through some type of spiritual training. Maybe learning to be a priest or some type of priest, some type of spiritual teacher or advisor. Maybe learning to read cards, do divinations, spiritual work here. And then I talked about the seven of pentacles here. This person, you know, this person is someone that is waiting to be rewarded for his hard work and labor, his efforts here. He's here thinking, when, when is my, when is it going to be my time? When is it going to be me? When am I going to be rewarded for all my hard work? Because you put in the work here. You went into the hangman, self-reflecting. You sought out counsel. You asked for advice. You asked for help. Okay. This is also you. Your higher self. Going within. Communing with your higher self here. However, I feel like I was saying before. I feel like the effort's a little bit minuscule. Maybe they're not. They're, there's a lack of effort. Because you're still in this particular energy here. Because I did clarify and I did see the cards that came up. And I'm going to tell you why I said, why I say that this, these efforts are uh, might be a bit minuscule. But I'm not going to take away your effort because your effort is valid. I mean, it's this energy here is very difficult is what I was saying before. It's a very difficult energy. It's, it's hard. But you're looking back into the past here. Because this fell in the past position under the King of Wands, since I was clarifying it, I feel like this is what you're hoping for. This is a hope you want to get your wish fulfillment or your, your fulfillment in general, contentment, happiness, stability, family, home, that career you want. So 
So I asked Spirit to, to clarify the hangman and I got Eight of Cups, the sad sorrow card. And I was like, really? That's what you're going to give me? <laughs> I said, please give me a glimmer of hope, please, universe. For the air sign, I'm sorry, earth sign people here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I said, give me a glimmer of hope because I'm tired of seeing sorrow, sadness. I'm tired of seeing heartache, depression, dissatisfaction, disappointment. I'm tired of seeing that, right? Please give me a glimmer, glimmer of hope for our earth signs because we need them to be happy. We need them to be stable. Five of Cups. Earth signs, the universe is trying to offer you something here. You're still crying over spilled milk here. Boo hoo, why me? Why me? You're still crying. But you're not even looking behind you at these two cups here that are still left behind. Because you're too focused on this spilled milk from the past. You still won't let that go. You are still looking to the past here. And you are still suffering. Sorrow, sadness, heartache, dissatisfaction here. Let it go. When something no longer serves you, because I was talking about the hangman earlier about how it means letting go. And I said that I don't think you're really letting go. I think you're thinking about it. But I don't think you're really letting it go. When something no longer serves you, you need to let it go. Or you will suffer here. Then I said, you know what? But look. But look. He's letting, he's walking away. He left the cuffs behind. He's turning his back. But then, here, he's looking. It's like teetering between letting go and not letting go here. Why is it so difficult, Earth signs? Why is letting go of the past so difficult for you? Why do you like to suffer? Hmm? I shuffled and I shuffled and I said, universe, Give me another glimmer of hope, please, for the beautiful earth signs that I'm reading for. And I got a high priestess in reverse. And I said, really, y'all? Like, you guys are really, you really not listening? You're ignoring your inner guidance, your intuition, ignorance. You're ignoring. That's why I said it's minuscule. It's too minuscule to make a difference to, to spark that change that you need to get you up out of this energy. But then I seen this card and I'm like, okay. Because you're not listening to your higher self here. You're not trusting in yourself, your higher self here. You're not listening. She's showing me that you're not listening. You're being shallow. You're being conceited. Lack of inner harmony. No balance here. She represents balance of the feminine and masculine. Balance in general. No balance here. You're suppressing your feelings. And your failure to acknowledge unconscious guidance and to go against your own intuition it also says whoever you're dealing with is not forthcoming 
This person's shallow. This person's conceited. This person is not looking in your direction here. Okay? Because you're looking this way and this person's looking that way. I'm going to pull one more card. Not a source. I'm not even surprised. I'm not even surprised. Negative feelings towards the feminine, possibly. Cross watcher, Taurians, Capricorns, and Virgos. Hmm? What is going on? This is not what I was expecting to see. I wasn't expecting to see so much heavy energy. And I was saying before the video cut off, and that, that is really starting to get to me because it happened to me multiple times. I was saying that when I did the video for Aries. Aries or Taurus, one of them. I don't remember right now. There was a heaviness, such a, a heavy feeling, and it was sit right on top of my chest like a blockage in my heart chakra. I could feel it was so heavy. But they had the wand. They were the magician, and they were able to manifest, wave their wand, create a reality of happiness, joy, contentment. They left the past behind and now they're using their wand to manifest a new beginning because they're not stuck here, stagnant, dwelling on the past, looking backwards, addicted to feeling like this here. When is this gonna stop? Enough is enough, Earth Science. Get over it. Whatever it is, get over it. I'm going to call this Earth Science first half of June because this energy is more than one day here. It's the first half of June. I feel it. See that? Right on top of the three of swords. Make a freaking decision, please. <laughs> Make one. Make a decision here. I love you guys, but it's getting old. It is getting old. And I'm talking, and the ones I'm talking to know what I'm talking about. This is some old ass energy that you've been carrying on your back. Stagnant. You are stagnant. Make a decision to move forward so that you can have your, I'm going to put this right here. So you can have these pentacles here, all 10 of them. Because this anxiety, this doubt, this grief, this suffering, this misery, this sadness, this fear of loss needs to stop today. I've been seeing it for weeks, for months now. It's crazy. Psychological, I'm sorry, not only psychological, but it's physi physi physiological. Empress showed up, okay. All right, physiological disorders, anxiety attacks, depression, disassociative disorder, eating disorders, addictions. All kinds of disorders here. You are being a 
afflicted and you are going through it here because the universe is trying to show you you are rejecting the lesson you are rejecting and you are resisting here but the empress is here and i'm hearing in my head oh happy day oh happy day is what i'm hearing in my head somebody is singing oh happy day they have found joy there is a glimmer of hope now there is a glimmer of hope and somebody is rejoicing here i don't know who happiness satisfaction maybe this is somebody that's going to come in and make you feel happy make you feel that satisfaction you've been longing for love Physical is spiritual security and contentment in domestic situations and personal relationship. Somebody's going to come in. Or this might be you or son. Cross watcher. You might be that glimmer of hope that I was talking about that I was praying for here. Shuffling these cards saying, universe, please give me a glimmer of hope for my earth sign people. They suffer too long, way too long. She's persevering. She knows what she needs to do, not only to help herself along her path, but others here. Come on. This woman here, if this is a woman and if you're a male, a male, this is someone you should marry. This is someone that you should really take seriously because this is the this is going to be the person that's going to be the catalyst in your life and that's going to change everything for you right before your eyes. Yeah. Universe, please give me an outcome. I wish the video didn't cut off, bruh. I really do. And I hope it's still recording because I'm going to be mad <laughs> if it's not. I deleted a whole bunch of stuff though, so I should have at least 20 more minutes to record because this is crazy. And I'm sorry to be talking to y'all like this, for real. I'm really just passionate. Like, it's because I love you and I don't want you to suffer anymore. Okay? Four cups in reverse. I don't want to see you suffer anymore. I have family members that are Capricorns. I'm gonna send it to them too so they can watch this. I know people, earth sign people. My niece, my cousins. I know people that are actually going through similar situations. So yes, this is touching me in a personal way because I'm tired of seeing people suffer when they don't have to suffer. It's all in your head. I'm hearing, is it real or is it all in my head? And I think I said that in another video. Is it real or is it all in my head? I'm not going to sing because I'm not a singer. But it's some girl named Tori Kelly or something like that. I'm not sure. emotionally introverted and not willing to put in the effort that minuscule little effort you're putting in you want to be rewarded here come on seek advice you need help to move out of this negative state here you need help you need a therapist, you need a friend, you need someone that really loves you and cares, care about you, cares about you. Whoever this person is, go to them for help. You need guidance here. 
You need to do work on yourself inside and out. Confidence, self-esteem. You need to love yourself. Or sorry. Respect yourself. I'm just trying to get one more card. There is a glimmer of hope. The Empress. She's going to come in your life. She could be a friend, a lover, family member. She's going to help you. This could be a male embodying this energy too. But it's going to most likely be a woman. This is a Libra. But I really believe this should have been a Cancer. Libras don't have nothing on can cancers. And I'm not saying that. I know I know and love a lot of Libra people, but I feel like Libras are very analytical. They're very intelligent people. But that emotional, that emotional thing that cancers or other water signs possess, no other sign can tap into that like we can. That's a fact. This one wanted to flip over. Nine of Swords, Queen of Wands. Hmm, interesting. For these two. Fast moving. Got his sword. I'm gonna put this up here for a second here. Let me look at these two. Here. Because for me, I feel like the Knight of Swords is resistance in this particular reading. Lots of resistance. And again, he's looking in this direction towards the past. And she's looking in this direction towards the future. So whoever you're dealing with here, you guys don't look like y'all on the same page here. She's holding a wand. You're holding a sword, but you're moving backwards. Opposition, resistance here. In my interpretation. The queen of the queen of wands energy. Mourning. See, I look at this as someone that is mourning. It's going to have to be an extended um, video that you guys can purchase. <sighs> yes, I am mad. Let me start off with... I'm pissed. I am. I said so much great shit that y'all needed to hear, but y'all didn't even get to hear that shit, bro. Okay, but I'm good. <laughs> Alrighty. Things happen for a reason. I should have deleted more stuff because I could talk. But anyways, um, I clarified a little bit. I talked a little bit and I talked about how y'all need to let go. Y'all need to let go. And I said that as soon as you make the decision to let go, because we had the little glimmer of hope, and I clarified, the universe gave me this. The universe says your wishes will be fulfilled here. The universe is going to give you your wish fulfillment once you make the decision. And then I have pulled out these two cards. They came out at the same time. Queen of, Queen of Wands and the Knight of Swords here. This is the person you're dealing with. And I said in the other video, this could be a man, this could be a woman. It's just in the energies here, the Knight of Swords energy. Look at how he's looking back still at the past here. And she's looking this way. And she is my my sad, depressed to me. I always look at this woman as a grieving, sad, depressed woman. And this represents separation too. This man is impulsive. This man is egotistical. Somebody's being egotistical in the situation. Somebody is conceited, shallow, only cares about themselves. And I said, you need to cut that shit out. Whatever no longer serves you, cut it out. Let it go. 
And when I said that and I clarified, the universe showed me this. You need to cut it out. You need to cut it. Your price is way too high. You're not worth it, whoever you are. You're not worth it, Nine of Swords, if that's the energy you're embodying. Cross Watcher or Earth Sign. If you are hurting somebody else, they need to cut you. And if that's somebody hurting you, which I think is somebody hurting you, Earth Sign, because you tried, cut it. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. Make a decision. It's stupid. Stop pretending. Get out of your delusion. Love doesn't need to be so fucking hard. It takes two. So I shuffled and I shuffled and I shuffled and I saw my beautiful friend, the sun. Damn, I wish the video didn't cut out, y'all. It was so powerful because I was in the moment and I was channeling this information. Because <sighs> it took a lot of my energy because I feel very depleted right now. But that's okay because I'm going to give you this message because that was my purpose for not sleeping last night. Is to give you this message and to let you know that the sun is going to come out and illuminate the situation. Joy, happiness, contentment. Joy, happiness, contentment, stability, love. Marriage, house, home, everything you ever wished and hoped for, you will have it. And this is her, whoever she is here. She could be a Libra because it's the Libra. Here. And then I um got the death in reverse here. This talks about stagnation. Let me just clarify that one real quick a little bit because... Death in reverse talks about stagnation, but we can also look at it as you are something old is dying away. Okay. Something old needs to die. Put it to rest. Earth signs. You deserve better. In the upright, destruction and renewal, new situation, transition, change of thought, endings. In the reverse position, we're looking at disaster, incidents, upheaval, and temporary stagnation. Temporary inertia, delay, indecision. And we already know that. But after all of that, we have the magician here. You have everything you need to manifest this here. This, this new person that's going to love you or renewal of that person, joy, happiness, contentment. You have everything. You see, he has his wand. He's holding his wand up. He has all the elements, the cup, the swords, the pentacle, the wand here. Everything he needs. The magician here, I'm gonna put these here. And then you're gonna be a little selfish. You're gonna be focusing on you, your money. It's okay, you need that right now. You need that. Put yourself first. Get yourself together. This is a good card to get. Four of Pentacles, money's coming in. Material gain, something's gonna come in. You need that earth science. Wealth, inheritance, financial stability, hard work, solid foundation, solid foundation, so that this situation here can flourish. Solid foundation, the Empress, nine of pentacles, push fulfillment, and the sun. You can even put the sun in between these two here. Boom. Man and woman. Happy. They look happy. He's no longer looking towards the bad to towards the past. 
He's looking towards the future now. Earth signs. This, I'm going to take it in the upright here. Because of this, the way it fell, it kind of fell like this. It felt like this, but then it kind of spin. So it's upright. Look at that. I'm not making this shit up. Look at that. Sun. Money. Honey. <laughs> Sun, money, honey. Your little honey boo thing coming. And if you're a woman, he's coming. Your wish fulfillment. Your emotional fulfillment. All here for you. And all you gotta do, all you have to do is make a decision. It's simple. The video cut off three times, but it's okay because it's okay because all I wanted to see was I wanted to see this glimmer of hope. I wanted this for you guys because you guys deserve it. You guys been going through it for so long. I mean, I want to say some of you guys for years, seven plus years here, seven plus years. I love that. I love that last card. Thank you, universe. Ten of cups. Thank you. Three of Pentacles in reverse. I'll take it though. I need to clarify something. You guys deserve happiness. Three of Pentacles talk about, it talks about <clears throat> Long-term long rewards, abilities, talents, skills, good workmanship, recognition, and indeed the, the reverse meaning here talks about frustration, pettiness, delays, weakness, It's just reminding you, it's a reminder that you receive what you put out. So in order to get all of this good stuff here, look at that. Don't go back into doing this bullshit. Don't go back into ignoring her. Your intuition, your higher self, don't do that shit. Don't be indecisive. Make the call. Or you will forever suffer. Here. You're being asked to take your time in all that you do at the moment. All will take place in its right time. Divine timing is in play here. Keep your head up. Stay optimistic. Be positive, work hard. No minuscule work here. Only getting you this, the same, but less, but still the same. Work hard because you get what you put out. Cut your losses. Because you're feeling taken, you're feeling like you're being taken for granted. And you are probably. Look upon these delays and obstacles as challenges rather than hinder, hinder, hindrances. Lord help me today. Go over all the details of plans and ideas as making sure all is correct prior to proceeding 
will ensure that all comes together positively. There's a lot to learn, but you can do it, Earth signs. You can do it. Because guess what came up for you? Right on top of my deck, I pull it right off. Lord have mercy, the lovers. Let me do something. Lord have mercy. Let's get a, let's get rid of all this yucky mucky nasty energy off of my table here. We don't want none of this. None of this stuff here. No more. None of that. We're going to put her in the upright position here. And we're going to lay out this new story. We're going to rewrite the story. You are going to learn you're going to really put in the effort here. You're going to learn. You're going to seek counsel. You're going to work your ass off. Really put in the effort. Here with the seven of pentacles. You're going to focus on yourself. There will be an illumination here. I'm going to put the star there. And you will have the tools you need here. Your wish will be granted. You will have... Your wish will be granted. You will have contentment, fulfillment. You will have that honey. Or that sweetie, that babe, or that bae. And you will live happily ever motherfucking after. The end. That is your reading, Earth Signs. I love you guys. Please take heed. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm going to put a little preview to this particular last reading because it's going to be the extended. I, I'm going to have to break it up. Y'all going to have to pay me for this. <laughs> but I love y'all. Have a wonderful day.